What I'd like for you to do right now, I want you to think about your dream, because I'm in a room full of dreamers. Think about your dream right now. So, Michel, let me have our champion. The place with the basketball chair. There's a certain ring to basketball chair. The gun man, whatever you want to call him, he was one of the stories. It does have a ring and it's, it's stuck and, <laughs> and it's grown and the people know, they know the basketball chair. In fact, I know it. Not just in South Africa, but in Southern Africa and maybe even the continent as far as it's concerned now. story because I think um, it's been interesting just to see it unfolding and uh, maybe we just need to hear it from, from your perspective. <laughs> I have to admit that basketball made me who I am. You know, I just had a, a lot of visions about this. Um, how the sheriff name came about, just like I kind of alluded to earlier on, is basketball authority just sounded plain, right? So I wanted something that kind of resonated with what I wanted to do at the time. I wanted to protect, I wanted to serve the basketball that I know that kind of gave me some sort of a DNA in a way, right? I have an NBA subscription and, okay, uh, let me just watch a couple of local games. I searched YouTube, I searched Showmax, but I couldn't find anything locally. Right? And that was a problem to me personally, because the way I saw it is, how are we basketball players supposed to improve our game if we don't see ourselves play? You know, just to kind of go back and retrospect, you know, how's my shooting posture? Can it improve? Is there an arc on my shot or, or you know? So, is my crossover as quick as I think it is? Exactly that, you know, I used to be a dunker, you know, for me. I don't believe a word coming out of your mouth used, right now. I used to fly. Okay. I, 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 you're the sheriff and I'm going to let you get away with it. <laughs> There are a few moments in sport where practice and preparation meets opportunity. The stage and the actors get ready for the performance. A once-off opportunity to capture greatness and live in folklore. We are in for an exciting one. It is a winner-take-all game. Whoever wins this one goes on to represent South Africa at the next stage of the Road to the Basketball Africa League. It's been a fantastic performance. Can I pamo? Crosses! Dunks! The ball! Ganapamo says, I'm not done giving you a show yet. Up, skies and throws down. We've seen his athleticism. That is a climb. Giving us excitement till the very last second. Road trip. Piamo, <laughs> sit down. Piamo, sit down. Oh my God, oh my God. Do you see this bridge? Where we at? That's just the suit. Because the so we can come warm up. You're pretty much everywhere. What basketball don't you cover? That's a, <laughs> you. You are in high school. You, you know. Um, Part you, of the vision, yeah. I want to cover everything. Once there's enough funds, I will go deeper down. You know, I'll find those hard to get sports grounds, and I'm gonna cover that too. That has always been part of the vision from get go, from schools, local, grassroots, major. In terms of when you started, or were there some games that you were just like, you know, when you're actually doing the work, you're like, damn, I covered that. You know what I'm saying? Like, the stage is Mandible Arena in the east of Johannesburg, and the pressure test for the Josie Nuggets. Going up against Josie Nuggets, you always know that it's a it's a well-respected team. They know how to play. They understand um, their offense. They understand how to play defense, and they actually value defense, right? I thought it did pretty okay. I thought it was a good game of basketball. Um, I thought Josie Nuggets came out firing. They they played hard. Um, look, they 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 have a very good coach. 
there's been some local games that went on to overtime where we were all on the edge of our seats. I mean, this is local basketball, right? But it's gripping. It has all the recipes for like big stage games, NBA type of broadcast camera. I mean, it was thrilling where I think it was overtime and this guy hits a dunk and I'm looking at the screens, right? To my bird. My bird, please Uzo. Uzo, goes left. see the camera shaking now it's like <laughs> i'm not the only one celebrating such great moves in basketball but also my camera people who knew very little about basketball but these people are also celebrating right i'm like okay you know what this this yeah you know what is the vision for you and the actual platform where do you want to take this when, when will you know that this is what i wanted to accomplish once we have sponsors on board right which will enable us to now drive all around south africa and cover from main leagues to also grassroots type of um basketball where everybody can now live the vision of going back and retrospecting on their games and stuff but for us though once we reach a spot where we marry business and basketball together where sponsors can actually now pick one of the best players that kind of resonates with their brand. You know, and there's some sort of deal between them. One of the problems I also had was that basketball has been played in silos and little corners and nobody really sees it. And I know that there was a lot of activity in basketball. How do we now expect business to now come in and say, look, I want to invest. Meanwhile, there's no visibility or transparency into what is happening. And that's why I wanted to put a lens to this so that business can slowly see that it's worth it to partner up with basketball and who exactly to partner up with, yeah.